Today we got us a PlayStation Slim here. This one came in, customer states that it doesn't power up. We're going to turn on the power. Alright, it kicked down on the meter. Hit the power button. So we just get a one single beat and we get no light. So yeah, we're going to take this apart and uh, see exactly what's going on with it. So we should see something glow up. So we got an instant short. There we go. I already spotted it. It's over here in this area somewhere. Ooh, so that chip's getting hot right there. That's kind of scary. That's going right to the APU. Alright. So, putting the meter in a different mode. We're able to find out. Let's see. We have something lighting up over here in this area. There we go. Come on. Is that a cat? Really? That would be cool. So, it's somewhere right around here. Oof. That's by the CPU. Let's put the micro lens on. Let's zoom in on this area over here. So it's in this area right here. There we go. Wow. A stinking capacitor. So basically I had to put my power supply in because it's a dead short like dead 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 short so the power supply safety mode is kicking in that's why you hear the beeping noise let's light this baby up that thing's glowing like a christmas tree yeah i say that's the capacitor right there So it's the one to the left, glowing like a Christmas tree. There's a crack right down the center of the capacitor. So in the center of that, going left to right, there's a line. That's a cracked capacitor. That doesn't matter. There, they look comfortable next to each other. That's all that matters. So we're just gonna clean the area up really good. You see the capacitors are both on the same line so they could join together they could kiss each other I don't care we're trying to make the device work not look pretty all right so we're done replacing that shorter capacitor kind of a little nightmare to find because it was a dead short, we had a shorted little itty bitty capacitor. Look how small this is. That's how small it is in my hand. So that's stopping a PlayStation Slim, the newer devices, from booting. Just one little 20 cent, less 20 cents component, stopping it from booting. So we were able to track that down. It's a cracked capacitor. So we got the system here. Our little slim, little tiny, tiny little slim. And I believe this is gonna boot, so I'm gonna adjust the liquid metal just perfect. Perfect amount of spreading.
I'm going to drop the board in there. I'm going to turn on the isolated power supply. There you go, just kick down. Come on, did we get a light? Instead of just a beep. Oh, we got a blue light. Wow, that's progress. Come on, white light. White light. We need white light. Give us the power of the white light. We got the power of the white light. All right. So, yeah, that was fun chasing down that short. I'll tell you that one. Pretty crazy. Just uh, less than a 20 cent component right here. Stops the whole system from booting. Now it's resetting itself. Storage check. And then we'll go back to a white light. There we go in our double beep. So we got us a fixed PlayStation Slim here. We're able to track that short down. It was a little tricky, but... We're able to find it. Another PlayStation 5 fixed. Not going to landfill. 5 here. Well, this one is an actual slim. And it's fixed. Customer's going to be happy. They don't have to buy a new system and everything. So, Hope you guys liked the video. As always, thanks for watching.